I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinless Creatures. But on today's episode, we're going to be rehousing one of the purchases that I got from the Eastern Invert Show, so the Bedford Invert Show. And that is the adult female Exenesis and Manis. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy I got this. Uh, it's not the Xenesis species blue that I wanted, but you know, this was the next best thing. So I had to go get this. So we're going to rehouse this one today, and I'm also going to show you my subadult Xenesis species white. Um, I've got a subadult male just in here, and he did recently molt. I think it was about three or four weeks back, so we're going to be able to feed this one as well. Hopefully I can get some cool feeding footage. This one, she might take some food, you know, further down the line, but you know what I'm like, I always chuck that in. On top of showing you the Xenesis species white, I do also have an Xenesis species a manis is it species a manis this is a xenesis a manis it's, it's he one i'm just going to call it a xenesis manis so i do indeed have one up there uh, which is a juvenile and i identify that as a mouse so i'm quite happy about that because you know we can uh, speed them up a little bit and fingers crossed their paths align you know further down the line but that's it's not going to be any time soon so the enclosure I'm going to use is this one just down here and this is one of the ones that I got from the spider shop at the show. So I can't remember the size exactly but you know if you put the female just there she only really covers about that much of the tank so there's going to be enough sufficient room for her. So yeah let's go down to the table and let's have a look at how we set up this enclosure. So obviously my other Xenesis uh, species, they're, they're great like, you know, little terrestrial um, tarantulas, always out on display. Um, I can always see them, which is absolutely great. So I'm thinking with this one, it's got a nice little burrow, and a nice little window at the back, I think. Yeah, it does have a little window at the back. And then obviously 
It could be chilling in there, you can get a nice little photo. Some space out, out here, could go up there as well. So we got some moss in there, some leaf litter as well, just for appearance and for that humidity. We got a water dish which we need to fill up, but I'm, I'm quite excited for this. And I did find the Exedesis Amanis, uh, my small one, which is over there. So I'll show you that all after the rehouse. I just want to get this theme. Sorry, there's a dog barking. <laughs> yes, woof. I just want to get this female inside this enclosure because then, you know, I, I can show you these after. I just want to get this, this part over and done with. I've got no idea how the hell I'm going to get her in because look at the size of her. So it's a bit awkward with the size of this enclosure as well. You can't really put it in and, well, you could probably nudge it out, but there's not really much room. Um, you could slant it, but you know, that could go a bit wrong. And then obviously you got the catch, catch cup, but it's not exactly big enough to fit over it. So we're probably gonna have to guide the tarantula in, if I'm honest. That's probably the most safest way Go like that, guard her in from behind, and we can get her in this way. Fingers crossed we can pick some footage up on this little camera. Alright, so let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh, this is one big old female, I'll tell you that now. Right, let me just pass the camera over quick, just to make it a bit easier. Oh, she's moving already. She is absolutely stunning though oh, oh, did you see I lift her legs up there hang on two seconds there isn't much light there you go she's absolutely stunning where's that um there we go that's better alright let's do this so catch cup in front. I'm gonna give it a slight little nudge. Ooh. Okay, I feel like this is gonna go terribly wrong. Just needs to go over the top of her. Nudge from behind, there we go, there we go, there we go. In you go, in you go, come on, that's it. Right, get a lid on that quick. Oh. Okay, we got her in. I'm just gonna take the camera back quick. She is absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, oh. I thought she was going to come out of that tub there. So that's the thing with bigger species and these catch cups, you sort of have to guide them in. And that can be a bit risky. So, we've now got to get this female in and the hole is on this side. But the issue is, <laughs> obviously, if I take this lid off, she is going to be ready to pounce out. So. Yeah, this, this isn't going to be fun, I don't think. Okay, so I was just going to take it off with my hand there, but I feel like if I take this off, it, well, yeah, my fingers are very, <laughs> very, very vulnerable. So I'm probably just going to use the tweezers, to be fair, to just nudge this off, because uh, I don't fancy... Yeah, I don't fancy it just springing out of my hand. Then again, I've got to retrieve it somehow anyway, I? So I'm trying to do each side just a bit gentle. To be fair, seems pretty chill, doesn't it? Just nice and gentle. in general. Okay, so now that she is down there, I'm going to put this in. Oh, that's not long enough, is it? Oh, actually, here we go. So, 
Does that have a camera still recording? Yeah. So fingers crossed, we can now just literally nudge her out of this thing completely. Well, not even nudge her. She's feeling the ground. She's got good grass for that leaf. That's it, wander out, come on. Be adventurous. One of the path. Out you come. Okay, so we're just going to nudge its little toes out. There we go. One, two. Oh, look at her. So we should just be able to nudge this back now. Oh, she's coming out. Okay. That wasn't the plan. So we're going to see if we can try and get her back in. She might. Come on, gal. There we go. There we go. Let me take the camera. There we go. Look at her. She is absolutely beautiful. I do still need to fill up that water dish. So, just pat that down again. I'm going to fill it up before I put it in, to be fair. Do have some tweezers that are able to put it in. There you go. Look at her. She's absolutely beautiful. Let me come around. Oh, she is stunning. I don't know how well this is picking it up, but. I don't think it's picking it up well at all, to be fair. Absolutely great. So let's put the lid on. Oh, I legit thought it was going to come out then. There we go. See, that is a perfect size for her, to be fair. Plenty of room. Okay, so that is her rehouse, and yeah, absolutely fantastic. It does indeed have a little window at the back, so I will show you that quick actually, because I did not show it earlier. Don't know if you can see through there. There is a little window, but you know, she'll probably mess it up at some point. Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. And I am gonna get macro shots of this girl that fingers crossed I can put in. I know I normally say that, I never really do. I just chuck the feeding footage in, but yeah, I'll try to get some macro footage for sure. Okay, so we got the little one Manis inside this one. Um, we'll just take out that water dish quick. Because that's absolutely filthy. Just give that a quick little clean. Okay, so, the little manis is just indeed under here, right I don't know if you can see it better there. don't know if you're able to see that. But yeah, absolutely tiny. I don't know if it will take anything. Um, it won't take a Moria worm. I need something a bit smaller, like mill worms. Uh, we'll have a look. I'm going to see if it will take a little, little mill worm. There you go, I got it. Just uh, If this doesn't do it, then I don't know what's going to do it, but it might be in pre malt. So. Okay, that's just going to borrow itself, to be fair. Alright, it doesn't seem like it wants food at the minute. The, the roach isn't going to bother it, so. Oh. Well, actually, let's just take that roach out. There you go. Okay, so there's, there's nothing from this at the minute. <clears throat> Nothing whatsoever, so we're just going to put the lid back on. Um, who knows, it could melt. Could melt. So yeah, that's my small one, and this, this size comparison is absolutely crazy, but I love the carapace on them. The carapace is absolutely brilliant. And the carapace on this one's great as well. They actually 
look the same, like the colorations on them both. Which is crazy. Okay, so next one that I wanted to show you with these was the Exenesis Species White. This one's absolutely fantastic. So she is, well he is just down there actually. I need to change that water dish, but first we're gonna see if it accepts some food. So we'll try try a little worm. So I'm just trying to find the worms. Oh. There you go. Try one more. Oh. oh, it hasn't got it. It's under the leaf gone. But he is absolutely stunning. I'm absolutely glad that this is actually a male. But yeah, she is, well, he is stunning, sorry. What do you reckon? One more malt? He, he's got a mature next malt for sure. And the setup for this is literally just pretty much the same. It's got a little hard area that it sits in. So yeah, if anyone needs a male in the future, let me know. Because uh, this, this will be up for grabs. If anyone needs it, I don't like males going to waste. So while he has a little munch, we're, uh, we're gonna put the lid back on and uh, I will go back to him in a minute because I've got to do his water dish. But yeah, that's the Amanis, the species white and then the adult female Amanis as well, which is just now sitting on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I just love the markings on them. Absolutely fantastic. Fingers crossed I can find a male one of these down the line. Fingers crossed, you know, before before that one matures out. So fingers crossed I can get a little bit of an update to show you now. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at that now. Okay, so here is the tank for the Azenesis of Manis. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Azenesis species white, but she is just down there. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, I think she might, she might decide to come back. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see her in her burrow. She has opened up her window a lot more, but I don't think this burrow is gonna do well for too long because she's proper dug out this area. Which sort of, I don't know, it sort of makes me think that maybe, perhaps I should have put her in a, a deeper tank because it seems like she wants to burrow down. See if we can actually see her here. There you go. There you go. That's a lot better. So yeah, I feel like I don't know. Maybe I should have put her in a, a deeper tub because it seems like she's wanted to burrow down inside this this actual hide area. Um, but obviously, there is not enough room for her to burrow down anymore. So yeah, maybe putting her inside a bigger tub would have been a bit better. She has uh, completely filled up her water dish. Though. That is completely filled up. There she is, just down there. So I don't know if this girl's gonna feed, but you know, we can we can give it a try. You know what, I'm really tired, it's really early in the morning, but I need to get this update done, because, yeah, the video comes out very soon. So uh, I sound half asleep. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, let me set this tripod up. Let's have a look at what we can get for her.
she has definitely woken me up a bit, but she is just beautiful. Like, oh, I'm so glad I got her now. Uh, yeah, absolutely, just great. Tarantulas, wild and tame, always just having the banging teas. <laughs> If you haven't, make sure you go check out their Facebook page, honestly, ask for a list because they have got some really nice species available. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that water dish right now because, yeah, she's on top of it. So I'm just going to put the lid back on, wait for her to uh, move back into her little barrow area. But uh, yeah, she's got a few little Mario worms. Um, I'm probably going to have to, I don't know, I might might re ask this girl in the future I don't I don't tend to like how low the substrate is here if I'm honest it's yeah it, it looks a bit like poverty I feel like I don't know I feel like it should maybe go in an exoterra where it can dig down a little bit more but uh, I'll keep you updated on that I'll let you know what I decide to do it's probably going to be a, a bigger enclosure, so yeah, you'll probably see another rear for so this down the line. But that is the update done, so if you'd like, comment, and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget, guys, I've got Patreon now, five different tiers, so if you want to help and support the channel, there's a link down in the description, and I've got channel membership, there's a link down in the description for that. Still, still getting used to saying that. But Mr. Grinder's done here. So are my creatures, so are my Balfouris, and so is my new Exenesis and Manus. Have a great one, guys. You all deserve it. Peace.